My name is Rebecca Braham. I guess I could be called the Bubby of the camp. And together with my husband, Don, who is the Zadie and the Shliach for Rabbi Kunin here at Running Springs, we try to make everybody welcome and at home here. She is a lady from what one may term from the old school. I was definitely meant to be here. This camp is 70 acres of freedom for all the children that come here. She doesn't really speak to me about the being a Holocaust survivor. She did when we first met for the first year. I jokingly say that I almost went to camp, but it was quite different from this kind of camp. I was five years old at the time. The ghetto was formed once the Germans occupied Poland. The main concerns of my childhood were purely survival. My mother was a very tough lady. We hid in cellars, we hid out in the fields. This was not at the very beginning of the war, so people already knew what that they were not going to be taken to a work camp. And the thing that got around at the time was that if you could be at the back of the truck and not at the front of the truck, you were better off. My mother threw me off the back of the truck, jumped off the back of the truck, grabbed my hand, and we ran for the woods. Camp Auschwitz, that's the closest I ever got to camp. When I see these kids coming in here, I do not see myself. And I think that's one of the most incredible things and beautiful things of being part of Running Springs. As sad as the past may be, crying over it or being sad over it isn't gonna change anything. The only thing that can help the future is what you do in your life, what I do in my life, what we teach our children to do and our grandchildren to do, and how we teach them to live their lives. And that we can only do by example. If we do the right things, they will see that, and that's the only thing that I feel can make a difference in the world.